Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Tiffany. I have a special guest here, Stephanie, which I will let her introduce herself and she's going to allow us to take a tour on the inside and outside of her van. Hi, my name is Stephanie and I am a part-time van dweller. All right, I just bought this about four months ago and I'm loving it, loving it, and I call it my way of practicing retirement. Yes, that's what's going on. And I love this lifestyle. I am a former Army veteran. I did almost four years in the military. I served in the first Gulf War. And since then, I've spent oh, probably three decades working for the federal government as a federal employee still. And I still deploy overseas, so military is still in my blood even though I don't wear the uniform at this time. I have a pet named Nala. That's my little baby and her mother is an Aussie Doodle. Her father is a Maltese and right now she's probably I don't know about 12 pounds <laughs> but she is so sweet and adorable. She just steals my heart with her feisty self. Just practicing but I have been taking off about a month of work at a time so to really get the feel of it. And, uh, and I've been boondocking a lot in relatives' uh, driveways when I can't actually take a trip. And that's been awesome. And having the kids do sleepovers in it. So I feel like I'm out and about, even though I'm not that far away from home. And sometimes I'm probably even in my driveway. Before purchasing your van, did you have any other camping experience? Yes, in the military. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they had me uh, going what we call bivouac. <laughs> and I was also in the war, in the Gulf War, so that was definitely camping. Camping with weapons <laughs> and camping with uh, rockets flying over our heads. But other than that, I was a Girl Scout as a little child and I did a little bit of camping then. But that's really pretty much it on my civilian side and uh, military side. This is my first personal RV. I do love the lifestyle and I already know what I want to do next. And why did you choose a manufactured van versus a build out? For me, it's because Stephanie has this problem with waiting. I okay. just, I just, I, uh, and I love the idea of the build out, and I was very impressed with what the people had done. Um, and I also love the ready made. Um, but you pay a lot more for the ready made, <laughs> you know. So, but if you ask me, would I do it all again? What would I do differently? Um, I would probably say I would wish I had the patience to plan it better and be able to take pride in going ahead and uh, making the, the building it myself or learning, you know, from others that I might hire to do it. And what type of van is this? The year is a 2022. The make is a Thor. The model is a Tolero. The chassis is Dodge Ram 3500 Pro Master. And the length is 20 now, this feet. This here, this is for sure power. And I have 30 amp and it goes right here. This is propane and I can have, I have the ability to turn it on or off right here. So I have, I carry my propane. This is for cable. If you want to hook up cable, you can do that. This is the furnace right here. And when it's actually on, I can feel the warm air coming out. And then this is the cassette toilet. It's, uh, think of it like a porter john potty. All right, so yeah, all I have to do is stick the key in to unlock it. And I'll move this up because it kind of hangs down a little bit. Lever right here, I'll pull it out. And then you can just take the cassette. Mine's actually full right now. So, uh, but yeah, this is, I just take it out. Un unscrew this into the sewage. Uh, and that's it. So then I can take it when I'm home or somewhere else that has okay. a water hose, I'll go ahead and rinse it out real good, put some cleaning solution, and maybe some bleach and things, clean it out real good, and then I can just put it right back in. And how much does it hold? I believe this is about almost five gallon okay. tank. I think it is, yeah. So, and it lasts for me, because I only do one, number one in here, and I don't use any toilet paper in here. So, um, it lasts me when I was boondocking a good four days. Mm -hmm. Sure. And then you have outside lights here. I do. Is this a speaker? No, this right here is actually the vent for the bathroom. That's what this is. And then this is city field uh, for the water. 
so I can hook up my, when I hook up to shore water. And then this here houses my, my potable water. And so your drinking water. My drinking water. Yeah. Here, I notice you have this compartment at the bottom. Okay. What is that? Yes, this is actually my gray water. And unfortunately, uh, a warranty issue, the door flew off and so did the hose. So that's why it's looking like this. There would be a door right there. And all I have to do when I want to dump it is just pull. The lever? Yeah, pull the okay. lever. Okay. Right. And then it'll all go ahead and disperse. All right, so now we're looking at the back of the van and it has, it came with the bike racks. It's wonderful to have that feature so it's ready for me. I don't have to take off my bike racks or off my other vehicles. Yes, it open all the way up. Okay, yeah. and then you have the screen here, so that's really nice too. Definitely, it makes a nice cool breeze when I open up a couple of other windows or if the pop-up is up, uh, it's a nice breeze that comes through. And uh, this ladder is used for outside, so there is no ladder out here. And for me, I feel like that's a good safety feat <laughs> that uh, no one can just climb on the ladder. And, and get on top of your ride and get on top of the vehicle. Okay. And so it tucks away very nicely. And this is actually my garage. It is a little messed up right now. You have lots of space. Lots I love this space. nets that you have here on the side mm -hmm. to use as storage. Right, on both sides. And then in here, I also have, I have a, the cigarette hookup right there. Um, we have the water pump. And I have an outdoor shower. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. So if you're out at the beach and you get sand, you can shower off before you get in your band. Ooh, that's a dog. nice feature. I like that. Exactly. I like that a lot. Animal, you can give them a bath if you have uh, sand, anything, or items. Maybe you want to clean your grill. Okay. You know, but it doesn't have hot and cold, so it's only cold okay. uh, water. You can operate the pump from here, so you don't have to go into the cab to turn the pump on. Nice. And then you have storage here as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. My garage is a little bit junky. It's okay. I like the space. <laughs> yeah. So it's pretty much the length of the bed, correct? It, that's correct. And this is actually designed where these are two separate beds. So oh, so it's two twin beds. Yes. Uh huh. And this can this lifts up and slides back. Okay. And then this here matches right here. This pad can go against them. You know, so it's a lounging area or you can make it up and have a right. bed a full-size bed right and I keep it this way because it's just it's just me and okay it's much easier to have the bed full-time and have a garage full-time I like that yes I like mm -hmm. it a lot yeah so, that's it. I did have a project where I added a foam I I have the same thing I added an extra five inch <laughs> memory foam mattress I think I need another one yeah more cushion <laughs> more cushion yeah this attaches to the ladder so when I put it against the van it won't scratch up the ladder won't scratch up anything oh nice yes and it's on magnets it's on magnets. oh great so mm -hmm. this is a great storing spot for it too mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. I like that. Then okay, right here, this is actually for the awning. This hookup, there's another one on that side. And then you have plugs, Oh, outlets. you have two outlets, exactly. okay. Exactly, so you can go ahead and plug up TV or whatever, whatever you need outlets for. Okay. And down here is propane as well. So you can hook up a gas grill or you can hook up a fireplace. Okay. Right there. That's mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The running board makes it easier to get on and off. <laughs> I have to be careful because uh, I have big feet. Very, you know, careful. Uh, it would have been nice if it was a motorized kind that everything go in, in and out. Comes in and out, but it's okay. Yeah, it's what I have. Okay. So, all right. Can we yes. come in? Yes. Yes. Welcome, <laughs> Tiffany. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Come on in. Oh, darling. this is nice. Thank you.
do you feel comfortable driving your van and is it pretty easy and comfortable i do i must admit i started off very nervous okay of course because you spend so much money and it's so large and it's like oh my gosh so uh at first i mean my first two months every car passed me locomotives <laughs> passed me everyone because i was too afraid you know now uh now i'm much more comfortable with it okay uh and and it helps that it has a backup camera oh can so we when, see that yes it's loading but yeah oh nice see? So that makes it incredibly easy for me to back it up and, and maneuver because I have this camera back here. Did that come standard with your van? It did come with this van, but there's also another neat feature is what I used when I first had the van. I kept it on the camera for about the first two months because I was so nervous about what was happening around me. And so now you feel comfortable driving the van and it's really easy. Right. Just like driving a large SUV. It's just like driving a large SUV. I do have experience driving uh, tractor trailers in my military days. Uh, and of course, I do have an SUV, but uh, I don't think my background in the military has anything to do with just being able to drive this. I think if you're comfortable with in a big SUV or one of those family size vans, I mean, it won't take anything to get used to this. Okay. And so you have some storage space up here. Mm -hmm. I do. You keep your extra water. Yes. I and it do. looks like you have some storage right behind your cab as well. Yes, I do. Nice. I keep my curtains here that go, my privacy curtains left and right. Okay. So those are on there. And then in here, this is another privacy, uh, you know, the reflective. And then I have, and I have another one because I want to make sure we have all nice plugged. Yes, and then I have their drinks up in here, water, and uh, and this is of course my curtain, and I drop this curtain when I really want more privacy. I want to contain the heat or the 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 cold. And in the dining room, this is actually it works as both a workstation and my office. This is this is office. Okay. <laughs> All right. In here and uh, and then this is also for kitchen so I can pull this out oh if you're having dinner yeah, having nice dinner. and it goes and then what's neat is you can actually share this table with the person that's sitting here but here and you have a nice setup and this actually goes all the way down oh I like that so you have all this open space here yes. that's really nice mm -hmm. and it has the latch there that it hooks on to mm -hmm. great I like that a lot we have a window here. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, you have an accordion screen. Yes, and you can unhook it if you okay. need to. If you need to uh, stick, you know, stick your hand out. And this is a, a like a safety safety mechanism where you can lock it into place. Right, and you get you catch a nice cool a, a nice cross breeze. Okay, and how many people does your van sleep? The, the van sleep four people. Okay. Um, two can be upstairs and two here. If in the you're back. talking, there are four seat belts in here. Okay. So if you're going to travel with the people you're sleeping with, then, you know. They have a space by, as well. They have a space as well. Okay, great. Can so I notice here in your kitchen, you have this panel. What is this for? Okay, this is really like the heartbeat of the whole cabin. And it has, you know, everything that operates the awning it operates the lights oh, and like nice. here i can actually oh i notice how bright the lights mm -hmm. okay dim yeah. that again let's catch it on camera okay dim so that saves your batteries by not having it at as high as um brightness right exactly okay. and it's nice too when you're waking up to not have to wake up to the brightest Bright li light there is yes mm -hmm. okay so it's a nice feature and of course it has the the access to the outside lights the puddle, the awning. The awning has beautiful lights. It's so pretty. So this is your little kitchen here. This is mm -hmm. where all the cooking happens, yeah, right? Yeah, that's where the cooking happens. I have this sink, of course. It's got this cover. I have a couple things in here. Uh, salmon. Is on, oh, is that is dinner? Yes. Salmon's <laughs> on the menu tonight. Okay. <laughs> and uh, and then this is also a gas propane stove. 
This is my, I see, I see this in everybody's videos. So I had to get one. And what is that? Whereas Tiffany has one. Oh, that's an air fryer. It's an air fryer. <laughs> I, haven't even I like it. It's yet. so cute. <laughs> yes. You have one this size, right? It's a little bit bigger, but that oh, one is cute though. Yeah, yeah. this is cute. <laughs> yeah, and so this is a gas stove propane. I put this here because it rattles a bit, so it kind of softens the, when I'm driving, it softens the noise. But it's a two burner. And it, it lights up nicely. I love beautiful burn, and uh, and I've used it once. <laughs> <laughs> I've used it once. Okay. Yeah, and it worked out just fine. <laughs> and I actually added this here so I could have a place to put my towels, my towels. But I found that as I'm driving down the street, I would find my paper towels rolling out. So <laughs> so I had to put a bungee cord around here to okay. place. So that's why that's there. And then, of course, I had to place a few things to be able to put my towel holders and things up. And this has the GFC protection outlet. That's what this is. And if you want to hide it away, you can just push it down. And other than that, I pull it up. And then I can use two USBs and two outlets. From my kitchen cabinets. And in here, I have a lot of dry goods, a few canned foods. And that's what's in there. Then I have, this is a banana. <laughs> I don't normally keep it in the drawer, but that's where I have it. And I have my teas here. I have coffee, just some things that I know I use pretty much first thing in the morning. And then in here, this is some dishes. I don't have a lot of space for them, but um, I, I realize I don't need two glasses because I'm the only one drinking the wine. <laughs> <laughs> so when I get home, that's going to go back in the house. <laughs> and then... There's another cabinet. So this one I have more spices. It's not as organized as yours, Miss Tiffany. <laughs> but I but I you know it works for me for now. <laughs> and it's a soft close? I yes, like that. it is a soft close. Now I do notice when I drive too when I hit a turn too fast. Uh-huh. <laughs> everything goes flying. Yeah, the doors fly open. Yeah. And then I have to hit a turn fast again yeah. to make it close. <laughs> That's that's a tip for you. All right. Thank you very <laughs> so much. So now to open the refrigerator, I have to pull the lever down. Okay. And this makes it good. So when you're driving, your refrigerator doesn't just go flying open. And I have... Oh, that's a nice size refrigerator. Yes, it's, 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 um, it's working. <laughs> but, you know, I, because I'm not doing this full time, it is not the easiest thing for me to um, be a minimalist. Okay. So, but as you can see, I I will not be starving. <laughs> I have plenty of fruit and vegetables and food. And uh, yeah, because I love to be surrounded by something to eat. It came with a microwave. It, it doesn't microwave. It's not a really high intense microwave, but it does a job. Yeah. So uh, that's that. And then I have. I notice you have a lot of space in your van. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A lot it's, of storage space. I, if, if I use shelving more properly I would be able to get a lot more out of it but this is actually my bathroom stuff hair products face stuff lotions that's pretty much with a toothbrush that's pretty much what I have in there it came with a rack to be able to hang clothes but no all my clothes I keep them folded and then down here also you have one at the bottom as well mm -hmm. so I have garbage or bags that I use for garbage then you know you see you have the zip locks i have some things that go into my composite i mean my toilet and you know so sort of like house house like stuff yeah and then i also there's another outlet down here and this works with the same source of the GF, gfc and here this is really not truly a storage the, no it's not really storage but i'm cheating it's actually plumbing but there's a little bit of area like you can see to be able to put a few things but i have to be real careful because i don't want to hit any knobs that i shouldn't yeah. be hitting thank but that's you. a great use of space mm, thank you yes yes I, like i said i just have to be careful so i don't hit any things that shouldn't be hit and then this what made this extra special is this is a drawer Oh, nice. <laughs> <a> doggy bowl. <laughs> it's dirty right now. We haven't used it, but nice. Uh, but yeah, and of course, if you don't have a doggy and you want to take that out, that's use additional it for store space. Else. Exactly. I like that because mm -hmm. this would be a, a waste of space, right? If you couldn't store underneath mm -hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Right. So we're back in the work 
station uh, dining room area and you can see I have a couple of USB outlets a couple of plugs here this is actually a vent for heating actually when Nala my dog is here I'll put her crate here um, so, it's nice so she to stays the under the table yes okay uh -huh. all right so I also have storage in the bathroom this is a what they call a wet toilet and I have a medicine cabinet in here and I have certain, you know, products that you would need for, you know, when you're taking your bath and an air freshener. This is the shower head and you can actually turn it on or off by using the lever and that will change the pressure. I added additional storage that I ordered from Amazon to house my deodorant, my face products, my toothpaste. And then, of course, there's a shaver here. And I've also added these items here so I can hang my towels so they can dry peacefully. <laughs> and in here, they also have a light that goes on and off. And there's a fan that I can turn on and off. This is a soap dish that I do not use. <laughs> and this is the basin that I can use for either obviously washing my hands, washing my face. Sometimes when I don't want to take a shower or don't have the ability to take a full shower, I'll warm up some water with, I mean, with my tea kettle and put some cold water in here and I'll use this as my, uh, when I, when I want to take a bird bath. <laughs> so, and so then I can close this. This also has a roll, a place to put the toilet roll. And this is a cassette toilet. And so you, you flush it by opening the lever, you open the lever and then you close it. And so, and to keep the kind of smell at bay i'll go ahead and squirt some of my disinfectant cleaner in there you know so even though i already put tank fresheners in there i just have this thing i want to make sure you don't smell anything okay. yes all right we're on my bed now and i believe this is uh what they call maybe a rv queen ish sort of sort of <laughs> and uh so but i what i do is I sleep because I don't have levelers for this vehicle. I my head can be here if we're at a certain incline or if it's uneven. My head could be over here, my head could be over there or whatever. So that's why I like this big space. And also I as you can see I have a lot of pillows and blankets because it is winter time. But the pillows and blankets that I don't need, I'll put them against the windows so it will help keep the draft down. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I have a couple of storage containers here and I have like my vitamins. I have my socks my mom made. These are my Christmas socks, <laughs> my bed socks. She makes them for me every year. And then I have some of my electronics stored up in here. Vitamins, you know, stuff like that. I may have some fruit so I can easily reach it in the middle of the night when I get hungry. <laughs> Because I'm an eater. I eat all night. <laughs> yeah, so, and then we have our storage cabinets here. This actually has a couple of USB ports in there so I can get a charge. Right underneath here, we have a speaker on both sides. And, you know, so this is, I keep my clothes in these here storage containers. And that makes things a bit uh, easy for me to keep organized. And this is, again, storage is, crossword puzzle you have a lot of storage <laughs> yeah. i love your storage space yeah you know I, it, it's it is it's a lot more than i thought i just when i'm smarter in packing things then i realize that you you know you, you really have a lot yeah yeah and then of course this is storage over here again more clothes because i knew i was going to be gone a while and this is more like kind of my linen my towels and things it's a great use of space yes thank you and then we have our air conditioner this air conditioner works very well and what I love about it is I can make the adjustments on you know to direct the air wherever I want I can close certain vents and uh, and it is also a fan so um, yeah so I don't have to always use it as an air conditioner as a fan I didn't discover that till last week. Nice. And so this is a lounge area that you've converted into a bed. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to, you can um, take your mattress pad off, blankets, mm -hmm. and set it up as like a little day lounge. Exactly. Okay. I sure could. I could take all this out, especially if I was doing like, let's say, maybe a sprinter van. You know, you may have a party van and no one's going to stay in it. I can set it up that way and 
you know, take down all this, the linen, go ahead and put the pillows up. You know, but of course there would be no garage. I call this the garage under here. Fan. Okay, so I see where you have the carpet here. That's nice. Mm -hmm. I, I love your colors. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah. I love these colors too. And so you have windows back here as well. So if you wanted to get a nice breeze. Yes. Do your windows at the back door open or just your side windows? No, these windows do not open. But okay. the side windows do. Okay, so they're just like your front windows? Yes. Okay. And, and I have it on either side. You just can't see it because I have all these pillows in the way. Nice. And then they have, I have independent lights. So if all the lights were off, I can actually, you know, make my own lighting, adjust my lighting right here, which is very convenient. Yes. Wow, this is amazing. It is. I love it. It's oh, look at it. all the space. Yes. I mean, it's actually, you know, two people, two grown people can actually be in here. And you know, three or four little kids. Yeah. Oh, so, wow. and then it has these nice oh, zippers. You know, I it, you oh, know, so you can see out. Oh my gosh! Oh. I can point it this direction, see a sunrise, turn the car around, and see the sunset. Oh, and, and you have, have it on both sides. Right. Okay. And then I have the sunroof up there, which can be. I can access the sunroof when the top is up or down. Oh, or look down. at those clouds. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this yes. is beautiful. It is. I mean, it's. I think I'm gonna sleep up here tonight. Oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh man, it looks comfortable. Yeah, it deserves for me to sleep up here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I haven't slept up here yet. I gotta get my money's worth. I oh, this is it. beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, there are cup holders up here. Areas for you to place little knickknacks, perhaps your uh, phone, your charger, and they're also. Um, USB outlets charge four <laughs> USBs at the same time and then we have these neat little lights I love these lights they have a nice snake arm and then they also you tap them double tap triple tap and it'll give you different levels of lighting and so you have the two screen windows on the side mm -hmm. and then you have this big beautiful window mm -hmm. that you can see from your bed you can watch the clouds roll by mm -hmm. shooting stars or a breathtaking sunset yes i need the better really for this well it might be okay we'll okay we'll see all right so here we go ready <laughs> that's how you do that <laughs> and then I just tuck this in actually I'll probably need to push it up to get this in good I don't like to see it hanging over the edge looking kind of sloppy uh, it can't get too thick though so then I I can zip the rest of this So this gets tucked in here. That gets tucked in here. Now this is sometimes a two-person operation, but we're gonna see how we go <laughs> get this done on my own. So what I do is I put all my weight on it. <laughs> Use it as a way of exercising. <laughs> And then I go ahead and grab the key. So you have to lock it in place? Yeah. Okay. It'll fly up while you're driving. Oh. Yeah. So, um, they, what I have to do is, it's tricky. Oh, there it is. Okay. So then now that it's been locked, we know it's locked. I double check to make sure it won't go up. And then I go ahead and tuck these in. So they're not hanging and dangling. Cinch this, tuck it in a little bit so it looks a little bit neater. Ah, okay. Well, tuck it in. That's about good enough. I mean, just so it's not hanging. So that's that's it. And then I'll go ahead and close this for privacy. Perfect. 
All right, Stephanie, thank you so much for allowing us to come into your beautiful home. We had a great time here. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I do appreciate it. This was fun, and I was overjoyed okay. to show you my cottage. Yes, it is very beautiful. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you. This is my baby, too. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.